I recently used the dark web and was shocked with images of scary things. Rocket launchers, credit card information, drugs, and fake cash. These are just a few things I saw when browsing the dark web, and after making a couple purchases live in the video, it's now been about a month, and the only package that came in was one containing fake money I ordered. Surprisingly enough, this money passed the counterfeit marker test, but it felt a little bit fishy and was missing some key watermarks. Finally, at the end of the video, it was burned to the ground by me. And things I ordered, such as a lost PayPal, account real euros for 80% off and a suspiciously cheap iPhone never came in. And that's because I fell into this trap on the dark web known as phishing where a website pretends to offer legit services and products but in reality they just take your money or in this case your precious Bitcoin and run off. After speaking with an experienced dark web user in my last video he told me the only way he knows to find legit sites is once you're on tour browser go to dark.fail. This is a database that gives known and legit dark web sites that simply won't steal your your crypto. Now, I quickly want to say I don't recommend that anyone do this. This is simply for educational and entertainment purposes. And for all you guys know, this is just a skit for my high school gang violence course. But as you guys can see, we are officially on dark.fail. And this time around, we won't spend our entire $1,000 budget up front. We're going to buy a couple items, see if they come in the mail. And if they do, we'll go ahead and purchase more. So I'm now on this site called Incognito Market. And the first listing I find intriguing is yet another person selling counterfeit money. They're selling 300 euros of fake 50 euro bills for $72. I'm always interested in buying fake bills like this because I want to see how realistic they are along with if an everyday European can tell the difference between real euros and these supposed fake ones. I just submitted a $72 Bitcoin payment, so wish me luck, guys. Next up on this website, ASAP Market, I found a listing selling a hacked PayPal account with an apparent balance and a bank account attached up to $100,000 USD. It literally says down here the balance could could be a dollar up to a million dollars you don't really know let's try this again baby the last time i ended up being scammed but this time we're on a supposed legit website and the person whose paypal account this is is super lucky since i'm obviously not going to be taking any of their money i'm just trying to get an insight on how this type of fraud works since this is a lost paypal account it's obviously not going to get shipped through the mail or anything like that we should be getting access to it within a few minutes so while we wait let's purchase a couple more listings for listing number three we are going to be buying some counterfeit gold I found someone selling five fake one ounce gold bullions and I'd be interested to take this to a pawn shop Obviously letting them know that this gold is fake to get their opinion on how legit it looks And finally the last purchase we're gonna make for this first round of orders is a $27 and 10 cent Netflix account But while we purchase this order and see if it's even legit this video is sponsored by guard.io A browser extension that protects users when they're on the internet by keeping their personal information safe and secure And detecting threats before they reach your browser Especially when you're in a dangerous place like the dark web, your personal information is at a massive risk and using a browser extension such as guard.io could be the difference of you falling victim to a scam or your computer getting a virus and you browsing the internet safely with up to five family members on one guard.io account. And just how in this video where we learn that the dark web sells people's personal information like PayPal accounts or credit card information, guard.io sends you an alert if this ever happens in real time along with lets you know if you had any past information leaks. It also helps prevent phishing scams with the pH, which is another thing we talked about earlier. As you guys can see, the order for the Netflix account has officially been submitted up here. So I guess now let's play the waiting game until it appears in our inbox. So in the meantime, be sure to check out guard.io at the top link down below in the description or go to guard.io slash financial wolf for a seven day free trial and 20% off your monthly subscription after that. They're trusted by over 1 million users such as myself. They're featured by Google and now instead of browsing the internet not knowing if your personal information is at risk or not, guard.io will detect a threat before it even happens. So with that being said, let's go ahead and try and get into this Netflix account. All right, guys, it's been a couple of days. And as you guys can see by my computer screen, both the digital orders we made for the Netflix account and for the PayPal account were delivered. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this one right here at the top. We're going to go ahead and click view in the corner and boom, as you guys can see, when we scroll down on this listing, they gave us the user name and password to a Netflix account along with they tell us to use Firefox 32 plus for the web browser honestly I don't feel like downloading that browser so we're just gonna copy and paste this Netflix link into the tour browser and now that we're on Netflix we're gonna click sign in then for the email we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this little email they give us then for the password we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that in there as well I have no idea if this is gonna work guys literally no idea in 
incorrect password. Yeah, guys, it's not working. It says password's incorrect. And this is when things got even worse. The PayPal account, although saying shipped, had nothing delivered by the seller. So in hopes both dark web sellers have decent customer service skills, I sent them both messages, and all we can do now is play the waiting game. After messaging back these dark web sellers, it's now been about a week, and as you guys can see by my computer screen, the order status now says finalized. Let's go ahead and click view in the order to see if we now have access to these accounts. And starting things off with the Netflix account listing, the seller responded to the message I wrote saying, I was tried, BTW, it's working bro, try again with copy at paste. As expected, when I try to fill out that information, again, it says incorrect password, but let's go ahead and download the Firefox browser he mentioned and try again. No way! That literally makes no sense, guys, but we got in. As you guys can see, we have a few profiles to pick from. Jim, Lucy, Rachel, Mom, and RubeTube. I think I literally bought a family's Netflix account off the dark web. I have no idea why the login worked on Firefox and not any other browser. Who cares, though, since I could technically go on Netflix now for free and watch anything I want, but we're not going to do that, so let's go ahead and sign out. But next up, the order for the PayPal account was delivered. When I clicked to view the order, the seller sent me a suspiciously looking link, and after pasting it into Tour Browser, it took me to a 28-page long scam guide that goes over how to steal money with PayPal and also get away with it. For some reason, the listing made it seem like I was going to get a login for an already stolen PayPal account, but this makes more sense since who would give you that information instead of taking the money for themselves? To be honest with you guys, this guide goes into pretty major detail, from funding PayPal accounts with stolen credit card information, to giving an actual seller for PayPal account logins, to how not to get caught, I would say this guide is a scam artist formula to making it out of the hood. That being said, our fake currency still hasn't come in, and it's been over two weeks already, but as you guys can see on the listing, it's been marked as shipped, and the same goes for the fake gold I purchased. According to dark.fail, every single dark website it lists is currently offline, which shows the true dangers of this side of the internet. You could get drugs offline and get it shipped to people's doors. I said, yeah. He's like, if that's true, I could probably make you rich. Shortly after my last dark web video came out, a podcast launched featuring a dark web kingpin We were having a lot of $20,000, $30,000 days. Who recounts his story starting an online drugstore making millions. You make one million, you think two million's cool. You make two million, you think three million's cool. You make three million, you think four million's cool. It doesn't stop. It's, a, it's addictive. Quickly scaling his business, Colby Cop realized that the USPS and FedEx deliver more contraband than any mule, smuggler, or cartel combined. Most of your packages will make it through, but sometimes you won't get so lucky. It's getting a little hot. I'm like, what do you mean? Because like some of the people we've been sending stuff to, they've been getting arrested. And like a couple of them, I know they've been arrested, but they're out. He said they're trying to set us up to put us in jail. Eventually come to find out, the FBI was hosting this dark web website. And after a lot of legal battle back and forth, Colby Cop was sentenced to five years in prison and a $50,000 fine. Five years board of prison time, five years federal supervision, and then a $50,000 fine. At least I, I know what I have to do to reclaim, you know, my life. Because not knowing what my sentence was, looking at, you know, possibly getting up to 14, 15 years, possibly getting up to a, I think a $15 million restitution they were trying to get me to pay. And if you guys want to avoid prison time, like my boy Will Ferrell, I'm gonna make you my bitch's bitch. Simply look at getting into a legal operation or just a slightly sketchy one. I have literally hundreds of videos on my channel about that, so be sure to check them out. And frankly, it's about the same level of difficulty as all the challenges you'll face from an illegal operation. That being said, when you open the front door, you guys can see that our dark web package containing the fake euros came in. And let me tell you guys, it's been an absolute journey to get this package in my hands because at the start of this video, I originally ordered six fake 50 euro bills. And after waiting a total of three weeks for the package to come in from the Netherlands, it never showed up. So I requested a refund on the order. Similar to eBay, a lot of dark websites have their own customer support system since instead of sending money directly to the buyer, you deposit it into the website. And if your item never comes in or it's not as described, you can submit a refund request. Is it sketchier than eBay? Definitely yes. But hey, sometimes you're lucky enough and your package actually comes in. So I'm pretty excited to unbox it. This package is actually from the second order I placed for fake money. It costs $21.90 to get one 
120 euro bills off the dark web. This is by far one of the cheaper orders on the dark web for fake money. So hopefully the bills are decent quality because this would be an absolutely insane return if you were dumb enough to use the fake money. So let's go ahead and open the package. We got some packing peanuts inside and boom guys, here we have the fake money. Let's go baby. Are we about to get rich? I don't know. So upon further inspection, these bills don't look great. I'm not gonna lie. Just for further comparison, the bill on the left is fake and the one on the right is real. The one on the right has this little reflective part that kind of glares off the sun, whereas the one on the left doesn't have that whatsoever. The feeling is relatively similar, honestly, but this one is just missing this very important part. So I would not spend this money. Like it's pretty obviously fake. Like the color is even a little bit off. Damn, yeah, it's not looking great if you ask me. The fake gold I ordered also never came in. So I requested a refund and to my surprise, both of my refunds, even the one from earlier were accepted. So shout out the dark web. I've heard people on Reddit say that only like 25% of orders on these websites actually go through, but luckily I got that buyer protection. It is currently 9.22 p.m. I just finished editing and I'm flying to New Orleans tomorrow to study a lucrative yet legal hustle. So subscribe for that. Check out some more content on the channel right here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.